Welcome to Yogaroo Online. In this class, I'm going to teach you through the first mini sequence in my article, which you will find on www.yogaroo.ie in the pause section called Summer Mini Flows. So I'm going to teach you through the Salute to the Sun stage of this four mini flow article. Um, so each one will have a, a sun, a Surya Namaskara C in it. So you will find that in the article too, and it'll run you through each of the poses. This particular flow that we are gonna go through starts with two rounds of sun salutation. So we're gonna start at the top of our mat. And just taking a moment always to remember, I'm going to stand here to demo it, but you're gonna be at the top of your mat there, to just to find your connection with the ground, starting to feel a little bit of energy coming up through your feet all the way to the tip of your crown. So spreading your toes nice and wide, even lifting them up, placing them down one at a time, pressing into the big toe mound, the lift toe mound, and the center of the back of the heel, hugging those hips to the midline, just feeling the, the shoulders stacked directly over the hips, just feeling your nice natural curves with your spine and your Tadasana here. When you start to feel a little bit of a connection with the ground, and a little bit of calm and quiet starting to cultivate in your practice, you're ready to flow. So we're going to go through two rounds of Surya Namaskara C, Sun Salutation C. And in each round, we do the right side first and then the left side. So it's four flows equals two rounds. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, folding down. Stepping the right leg back, the right knee comes down. Inhaling here, exhale. Step left leg back to downward dog. Inhale, reach forward to plank. Exhale, knees come down, chest and chin, hips high. Inhale, slide you forward to baby cobra. And exhale, presses you back to downward dog. Inhale, right leg comes forward just to the inside of the right hand, left knee comes down. And exhale, step left leg forward, folding down. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands down the midline in prayer position. So that's the right side down. We're going to move to the left side. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, folding down, stepping that left leg back. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Exhale, step right leg back to downward dog. Inhale, reach forward to plank. Exhale, knees come down, chest and chin behind the thumbs, elbows hugging. Inhale, slide your chest forward to cobra. Exhale, pressing back to downward dog. Inhale, stepping left leg forward, right knee comes down, open the chest. Exhale, stepping left leg forward, folding down. Inhale, press into your feet, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands down the midline in prayer possession. position. So that's one full sun salutation C done. We'll do, do a second round. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, folding down, right leg comes back, right knee comes down. Inhale, broaden through the collarbones. Exhale, step that left leg back, press the hips back for downward dog. Inhale, reach forward to plank, nice and strong through the full body. Exhale, knees come down, chest and chin, elbows hugging. Inhale, slides you forward to baby cobra. Exhale, presses you back to downward dog. Inhale. Step right leg forward, left knee comes down. Exhale, step left leg forward, folding down. Inhale, press into your feet, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands down the midline in prayer position. Second side, last round. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, folding down. Left leg comes back, left knee comes down. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Exhale, step right leg back, downward dog. Inhale, reach forward to plank, nice and strong. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slide the chest forward, press into your fingertips, reach the chest forward and up. And exhale, press the feet back to downward dog. Inhale, left leg comes forward, right knee comes down, broaden. Exhale, right leg comes forward, folding down. Inhale, press into your feet, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands down the midline in prayer position. So that's your two Surya Namaskara C's done. Right, left, right, left. We'll continue flowing. 
So the next flow is a half surin, so half sun salutation. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, folding down. Little bend in your knees. The hamstrings probably aren't warmed up very much now. Inhale, come up halfway. Press the hands onto the knees here. Reach the chest forward. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, reach the arms up high. And exhale, hands down the midline in prayer position. So that's a half sun salutation, a really handy little flow to put at the start of each of your mini flows. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, folding down. Press your palms together. Get those arms active. Inhale, coming up halfway. Press the hands into the knees. Reach the shoulders back towards the back of the hips there. And exhale, folding down. Inhale, press into your feet. Reach the arms up high. And exhale, hands down the midline in prayer position. So the next pose on our mini flow there is a low lunge with the, with the hands high. You have two ways to flow here. You can either step back into your flow and reach the arms up high, or you can come through a half sun salutation and take it from downward dog. So the, the two ways to connect your flows, the first is from standing, the second is from a downward dog. So I'll show you how you get into it from a downward dog. So inhale, reach the arms up high, exhale, folding down, stepping back, to plank or to downward dog. And then on your next inhale, you'll step that right leg forward, bring the left knee down, and then you find your way into your first pose. So either stepping back or coming into it from downward dog. So for this one, we want our feet nice and kind of wide or at least hip distance here for a balance because we're gonna come up into a standing version of the lunge. We want to make sure that those hips are lifting up and back so that the pelvis is not being pulled forward by any tension in the front of that hip flexor there. So just have a sense of the pelvis tipping back. Now it's not really gonna tip back, but definitely stacked up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the arms up high. So even though the arms are reaching, we certainly want a little bit of softness in the shoulders there, but we're not, we're not artificially drawing the shoulders down the back. We want those shoulder blades spreading out to facilitate the movement of the arms reaching high. So tuck those left toes under here. Now you can place both hands on your right knee to help you come up if you want to, or you can give yourself an extra little challenge. Press into the back of the, the toes of the left foot, press into your right foot and just help and lift yourself up into your high lunge here. Take a few moments here, just making sure that those hips are lifting up again. Little bend in that back knee if you need it until this area warms up. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Take a few breaths here in your high lunge. And then the next flow here, we're going to, on an inhale, step that left leg forward, lift it up. So using the muscles here to lift that leg up, keep those hips level though as it comes up. And then exhale, step it back to your high lunge again. That's your one round done. Inhale, lifts it forward. Exhale, steps it back, second round. Inhale, lifts it forward and exhale, steps it back. Hands either side of the front foot and step back to downward dog. So ways that you can make your practice longer here is that you can run through a vinyasa or you can come straight through to the other side. So I'll just demo the vinyasa if you want to make your practice longer. Inhale, reach forward to plank. Exhale, knees come down, chest and chin, slide the chest forward. And then exhale, presses you back to downward dog. Or you just come straight to the second side and step that left leg forward, bring the right knee down. So each flow, you do the right leg first and then you move on to the left leg. So you can untuck those right toes for the moment, just while we look for that hip bones reaching up and back, reach the arms up high, squeeze into the back of that right hip now. That will help to open the front of that right hip, those glute muscles at the back of the hip there. The more they squeeze, the more the front of the hips there will, will lengthen. And breathing, soften those shoulders a little bit, let those shoulder blades spread and wing. Tuck the right toes under, get ready. Place both hands on that left knee if you want to, or just lift yourself up to your high lunge. Make sure that your feet are nice and wide on your mat, at least hip distance, or, or, or wider if you need, if you find your balance is not with you today. Inhale here and then exhale, 
we're going to step that right leg forward, lift it up. Inhale, right leg comes back. Exhale, lifts. That's round one. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Round two. Inhale. So find length before you come into your version of the leg lift and lift. And then back to high lunge. Exhale, hands to the side of the front foot and stepping it back to downward dog. Now you can take a moment here, press the heels down towards the ground, just finding a nice symmetrical pose here, feeling the both sides worked out, coming back to neutral. And then for our next little mini flow, we're going to step to the forward front of our mat and inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, we're going to come into chair pose. So let those hips drop down towards the back of your heels there. Reach the arms up high or reach the arms forward, just depending how your shoulders are feeling today. And then folding down. Inhale, reach the arms up high. And exhale, hands down the midline in prayer position. We're going to do that one more time. One more time. Two more times. I can see on my floor there. So inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, coming into your chair. I'm going to reach my arms forward for this one so I can really concentrate my attention on my 360 core here. So cinching the whole waist in, really feeling the strength in those legs there as well. Breathing. On your next exhale, folding down. Inhale, press into your feet, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands down the midline in prayer position. Last round, inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, bending at the hips there, reach the arms forward or keep them up, softening in the shoulders. Bringing your whole attention to the core, the strength of the legs, lift the pelvic floor. And on your next exhale, folding down. Inhale, press into your feet, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands down the midline in prayer position. Next mini flow, I'm gonna come into it from a downward dog again. So inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, folding down and just stepping straight back to downward dog. On your next inhale, you're gonna step that right leg just to the inside of the right hand. Again, we're coming up into a high lunge. So you want to make sure before you come up that your feet are nice and wide left to right on your mat and pressing into your feet coming straight up or using that, the hands on the right leg to help you come up. A little bend in that back knee if you need it or may, maybe you're feeling now that there's certainly a little bit more warmth in the front of the hips there, that you can squeeze the back of that hip and help lift the pelvis up and you can start now to press through that back heel there. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Okay, so for this next flow, we're gonna come into a straight legged version on our inhale and then exhale back to the bent version. And just seeing how, how, how far can we gently drop down towards the ground, but keeping that lovely stack through the pelvis there without it starting to be pulled forward. So reaching the arms up nice and tall, lengthening through the spine will help to remind you to keep the pelvis stacked over, over the legs there. Okay, so inhale with the front leg straight and then exhale slowly, keeping that knee perfectly aligned with the ankle there. Inhale, press into the foot, reach the arms up high, moving consciously and accurately with your alignment and exhale to bend. That front knee, we don't want that coming any further over that ankle, so I need to bring that leg forward a little bit. Inhale to lengthen, last time. And then exhale, bending that front knee, letting everything gently drop towards the ground, keeping those hip bones nice and high. And then we're gonna step that left leg forward, so hands on the hips, step the left leg forward and take the left leg into tree pose. So bring the left leg up onto the inside of the right thigh or the inside of the right calf, but not against the joint. We don't press into the joints. So wherever is comfortable for you or if your balance is with you today, uh, the toes on the ground. Okay, so coming up into our tree pose, loads of versions for the hands, arms reaching high, like making a little ball with the fingertips or even having the hands in prayer position at your heart there, whatever helps you with your balance. Remembering this whole region here and the strength of that leg, the energy between the two is the thing that's going to help keep you in your balance there. We're also looking for this, this bone here to be dropping down in level with the right, the right one. 
hands in prayer position at your heart. Now you're going to let that right leg release, wrap that right leg around, or left leg around the right leg, and either place the toes to the outside of the right foot or wrap it all the way around and hook the left toe behind the right calf there. So coming into eagle pose. So we have the right arm over or the left leg over, which means the right arm is going to come over the left arm. Press the palms together or the backs of the hands together. So keep upright through the spine here still. Consider those hip bones lifting up here, bending the knees as much as is comfortable. Press the hands together, lift the elbows up and reach them away from you. And then unravel and just come back to Tadasana. And we'll do that same flow on the second side. We'll come into it from downward dog. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, folding down. Stepping back to downward dog. And then stepping left leg forward this time, making sure your feet are nice and wide on your mat, using the hands on that left leg if you need to, to help you come up. And reach the arms up high, making sure those hip bones are nice and stacked. A little bit of a bend in that back knee, or maybe now as the hips are beginning to warm up, we can start to reach that right hip away, or the right heel away from you there. Okay, we're gonna come into our flow where we're gonna straighten that front leg. So starting with the inhale with the leg straight, and then exhale, just consciously bending into that left leg. Continuing to press through that right heel. Inhale to lift, exhale to bend, nice and slowly and accurately. Inhale to lift and exhale to bend. Now we're gonna keep coming forward, place the hands on the hips there now, and step that left leg forward, coming into our tree pose now on the left side. So pour all your weight into your left leg and bend the right knee, place the foot to the inside of the left thigh or the left calf or placing those toes on the ground. Same lovely hip opening here. All we've taken out of it is the balancing aspect of it. So you're still getting that lovely hip opening if the foot is on the ground. And then loads of positions again for the arms, arms reaching up, fingertips together, prayer position, or hands at heart. Squeeze into the back of that right hip there now. Again, that's the muscles so that's gonna help open that hip out to the side. Squeeze into the back of that knee there as well. Press into those three points of your left foot there now. And then just really carefully unhooking that leg. Right leg wraps around the left leg, either to the outside of the left leg, or the toe, the big toe hooks to the back of the, last, the left calf there. Right leg is on top, which means left arm is on top, placing the left elbow on top of the right elbow and either back of the palm, hands together or the palms together. Reach those elbows away and lift them up. Draw the navel in towards your spine, bend the knees and lengthen through the spine here to the tip of the crown. Your gaze is kind of either side of the palms of your hands there. Press into that standing foot, unravel nice and slowly here and just come to a Tadasana. Just feeling the surface of the ground underneath both feet for one or two breaths. Okay, and then we're coming to our seated version of our practice now. Nice, nice kind of gentle little flow, a little bit of everything for the summer months and a little bit of seated to cool us down. So we're just gonna come into our seated from Malasana squat pose. So have your feet nice and wide, probably wider than hip distance, the feet out at a 45 degree angle, and just start to gently let the hips, hips drop down towards the ground, elbows coming to the insides of the knees there, and they reach the knees away. So they're helping to open the hips out. What we're looking for is length through the spine. So we don't want to be curled forward. It doesn't matter how far we're coming down, as long as we're nice and tall through the spine here. Now press into that big toe mound, the little toe mound and the back of the heel there. See, can you find any amount of that inner arch here that wants to collapse in our Malasana? And then gently coming down all the way to seated. We're gonna take it into Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. Lovely pose to take a pose, a little pause in and just start to coming to the end of your practice, starting to cool down. Press the soles of your feet together. This is a great one to find a nice hip and opening. Now your hips might be up here 
wherever they need to be. But it's a great one to find hip opening with a lovely elongated spine because we're using our arms as splints to help to reach our chest forward and maintain those lovely natural curves for our back, which are very difficult to keep when we're in a seated position. Um, like in our chair all day, it's, you know, we, we don't really cultivate the natural curves of our spine. We're inclined to collapse forward. And this one is a great to help try find that natural curves in the seated position again. Okay, you're gonna lengthen your left leg away now, bend the right knee up, a little bit of space between the leg and the foot. Inhale, use, again, use your, arm, your leg there as a splint to help lengthen you through the spine for your inhale, and then exhale, twist to the right-hand side. Just hugging onto that right knee or bringing the elbow to the outside. And we haven't done many twists today, so maybe hugging onto that leg is the, is the best version for your spine. Taking some inhales and exhales here, feeling the effect of the twist on your breath, feeling the lovely massage of the abdominal organs there, particularly your digestion. One more inhale here and then exhale. I'm just gonna gently let that leg drop out to the side and take it into a gentle forward fold here, forward fold, folding any amount. So press the heel away from you, lengthening through the spine. And just let whatever happens, happens. Trying to get out of your head of where you should or shouldn't be in your forward folds. Inhale to come back up again. We're just gonna swap that over to the other side and we'll come through uh, Baddha to take it to the other side. So find your nice tall spine, Baddha And then we're gonna lengthen the left leg away now. And we're going to place that or the right leg you lengthened away from. You're gonna place the left foot just to the inside of the right leg. Inhale, lengthen through the spine here, and exhale, twisting to the left. And almost lift yourself up and around so that you try and bring the belly there past the thigh, the upper thigh there. Soften that left shoulder. That left shoulder can get a little bit hunched up. So lift it and roll it backwards. Remembering to keep that right foot nice and pressed away from you, nice energy through that front leg, even though we're a gaze is away from it, we want to keep nice action there. And then finding your breath again. One more inhale here and exhale back to center. Gently letting that left foot drop out to the side. Find your sit bones to help ground you down. Inhale to lengthen and exhale hinging forward over that front leg any amount. And just think of chest opening, spine lengthening and sensation in the back of that right hip there. Inhale to come back up. We're just gonna take an inversion now before our Shavasana. So I'm going to guide you into Shavasana and then I'm going to close the class and let you just relax in your extended version of your Shavasana. So coming onto your back, making sure you have re everything ready beside you for your Shavasana. Arms tucked in either side of your body there, feet planted on the ground, hip distance apart. On your next inhale, start to peel your spine off the ground, press into your arms there, reach the spine up towards the ceiling. Squeeze into the back of those hips there now, press into those three points of your feet again, particularly your big toe mound now. Feel your knees reach away from you as your chest reaches back towards you. And feel that kind of point in your body somewhere around your belly button where the direction of the reach changes. One more inhale here and then exhale, gently coming down and seeing can you even clock in with each vertebrae as it comes down towards the ground particularly those last few where it comes into its lumbar curve are hard to kind of isolate. See can you come so slowly that you can isolate each one. And then maybe even tilting the pelvis forward and back a few times. Just getting ready for your Shavasana now. And lengthen your legs away from you. Hands facing up towards the ceiling. Let the whole body become heavy now. And giving yourself some time to absorb your practice. So staying in your Shavasana now, if you have a little bit of time, always great to take 
taking just a few moments to pause at the end of your practice. Coming back to a neutral position and letting everything realign, particularly the spine, and letting everything switch back off again after a little bit of activity. Or coming back to neutral would probably be a better way of phrasing it. I'm going to gently close the class off, so hopefully you'll have a little bit more time to stay in your Shavasana there. Thank you for practicing with me, and hopefully you'll be able to work, make your way now through the, the, the other three mini flows of the, the summer mini flow series. Enjoy. <laughs>